when they turn to green they'll be off Nelson Piquet and John Watson on the front row of the grid and they're off but Piquet made a good start Jones came through my voice almost drowned out by the absolute roar of these big engines and it looks very much to me oh and somebody locking up a brake but they all seem to be getting round safely Dieter Quester in the green car out on the dirt but he looks alright the Austrian Dieter Quester former European touring car champion and it looks like Nelson Piquet difficult to spot these cars with their similar colour schemes but Piquet seems to be leading Mario Andretti I saw there in third place Mario Andretti the current world champion and that is number six Nelson Piquet the 26 year old Brazilian in Grand Prix racing for the first time and their car number 55 Manfred Finkelhoff from Germany coming through car number 27 but it's definitely Piquet in the lead as they come down towards this fastest section of the course Nelson Piquet will be in fifth gear now he'll be knocking it down to take this chicane in second gear first Nelson Piquet right behind him tucked in and it's Alan Jones the Australian in second place Alan Jones in second place here we see uh, Piquet trying to find a way past Schutz Schutz has only before this season driven in the little Renault R5 races not surprising he's going to be lapped and that there looks like Alan Jones and there PK still trying to find a way PK trying to find a way past uh, Schutz see how Schutz uh, the lead lesser experienced driver break before PK holding him up a little bit can he get round no he's going to take the inside and uh, accelerating out of that corner overtakes and laps uh, Schutz the German driver John Watson has indeed got ahead of Andretti, I hear. First man, Nelson Piquet, having an untroubled run. James Hunt back in the race. Racing cars. And really trying everything he knows to get past uh, Winkelhoff, taking a tighter line there through the, through the coppice corner. And now trying down the outside, see if he can get past Winkelhoff. The car seems, oh, wheel to wheel at 155 miles an hour. Just look at that, and can he outbreak Winkelhoff into the cake? No, he can't. Tries around the outside. Doesn't do it. Finkelhock still holds on to third place. All right up his twin exhaust pipes there. And will he try into Redgate? No, he won't. What? Tries around the outside. There's no way he can get past there. Tucking in for a fast exit. Twin apex corner that is Redgate. Now down the Craner sweeps. Craner Sweets named after Fred Craner, the man who did so much at Monington. And he locks a wheel and almost loses control. He just saw the puff of smoke come up from that front tyre. The back end came out and he just managed to hold it. Handstock really giving it everything. But he get him down the street this time. There he is. And do they touch? No, not quite. Finkelhock comes across in front of him, chops him up. Winkelhock knows a trick or two, that's for certain. Winkelhock versus Stuck. Stuck goes for the outside. No, he can't get by into the cane. Locks up all his brakes, slides wide, just scrabbles round. And Stuck trying absolutely everything. And probably lost about a, a second in that manoeuvre. Very, very nearly went off, right on the edge. It's Hans Stuck, former motocross ace, F3 driver. Well lapped, not one of the stars of M1 racing, I have to say. Nelson PK very definitely is. Remember, most of these M1 races supporting Grand Prix is the next one scheduled to be at uh, the Dijon track in uh, at the French Grand Prix. There's a little bit of politics going on about that. But then we will definitely see these cars again in Britain at the Marlborough British Grand Prix at Silverstone. And off goes James Hunt, off into the sand, just pushed into the barrier a little bit. Not much damage done. And James Hunt is having the most diabolical season. Hasn't scored a single World Championship point. So far with Wolf and he can't even hang on to a on to a BMW M1. Parried. But that is the leader. Nelson Piquet. Piquet driving a faultless race, I have to say, while other more experienced Grand Prix drivers are having trouble. Nelson Piquet driving a faultless race. Schutz is into the pits to retire. So let's watch the style of 
this man, Nelson Piquet. Nelson Piquet on his very last lap now. This is the last lap. He has completed lap 29. So let's watch Nelson Piquet. Piquet just about a mile and a half now between Nelson Piquet and Victory on this the last lap of the Donington Pro Car Race. Piquet, we have to say, spoiled it a little bit. He comes down the Craner Curves for the last time. Into the old hairpin. No mistake there. He can take it a little bit easier now. His pit signals have told him that this is the last lap. He knows that Giacomelli is uh, back in second place and not challenging. PK the Brazilian. About to be the third winner of a pro car race. This only the third pro car race. Breaks hard now for that McLean's corner. A squirt of power. Squirt of the 470 brake horsepower, then round the coppice bend. Third is Finkelhock. Fourth, right behind him, is Stuck. Fifth place, Han uh, Hazelman. Sixth place, Kellener's. And Dieter Cuesta followed Kellener's home. Grand Prix drivers, apart from PK, a little disappointing. Giacomelli driving his own car. Second, of course, a Grand Prix driver. So Nelson PK now driving around on his slowing down lap. He has more work to do this afternoon, gets his windscreen wiper going, but I don't believe there's any rain, he's probably just knocked the switch. So Nelson PK slowing down, all the marshals wave, and they wave to hand Stuck, who put up such a brave performance to try and get Finkelhock, get past Finkelhock. That was the moment in the race for me when Stuck tried to barge past Finkelhock on the last, but that chicane didn't quite make it. And he just takes, takes the flag, but... Good and Nelson race, won by Nelson TK from Bruno Giacomelli. Now over to Gary Newborn. Well, welcome back. Prince Bertel of Sweden is now going to make the presentation to Nelson PK who won that race. Over me. I never object to that. Well, I'll hold that for you, Nelson. Nelson, I'll just, I'll just play a little champagne, first of all. <laughs> I, th I think we might have to pause for a moment to wipe the camera after that. <laughs> well, we're going to look at you through champagne lenses, because that was a champagne race for you, Nelson. Uh, led from the start. Yeah, I'm, I think very easy in the start because the problem was the tyres. They used to go very hard in the beginning. We finished the tyre for the end. And they keep very easy the car and, um, and the finish well. Alan Jones looked as if he was going to challenge you there at the beginning. Uh, what happened? Did you see it? No, I didn't see it. I think he spun off actually. Uh, did you feel there were any other challenges coming towards you? No, no. <laughs> good, comfortable race. What are, the, what are these pro car races like? It's a very good car. It's a very big engine. It's a very heavy car. It's uh, do the more or less the same time in Formula 3, but much quicker in the straight and uh, slow in the corners. It's very good for drive and uh, very competitive car, you know, very, very close. You have to